That's my mirror. All I do is clean up after you. You hear something? Okay. Break it in. Here you go. Here you go. Right now, somewhere in the world, a robot is learning to fold your laundry by literally failing at it a thousand times. Another one just had what scientists are calling an emotional breakdown when its battery died. And the most advanced humanoid ever built recently went viral for slipping on hot food and smashing through a glass door. We're not in the future anymore. This is happening right now and it's way stranger than anyone predicted. The breakthrough that's changing everything is called Gen Zero, and it's the first foundation model that learns like we do, by actually touching reality. No simulations, no virtual training wheels, just pure chaotic collision with the physical world. The team behind it calls this approach harmonic reasoning, and it's unlike anything we've seen before. Instead of processing information in steps, see, think, act, repeat, Gen Zero experiences everything simultaneously. Sight, sound, touch, and motion flow together in one continuous stream while the robot keeps moving and reasoning at the same time. It's like the difference between reading sheet music and actually improvising jazz. Here's what makes this truly wild. They've already fed this system over 270,000 hours of real-world manipulation data from thousands of homes, warehouses, and factories. That's not simulation hours. That's actual robots actually touching actual things in actual environments. And they're adding another 10,000 hours every single week. To put that in perspective, this is more embodied experience than every other robotics data set in history combined. They built custom hardware and dedicated internet infrastructure just to handle the data tsunami, processing the equivalent of six years of real-world interaction every single day of training. But the truly mind-bending part came during testing. The researchers discovered something they're calling an intelligence threshold, and it's the first time anyone has observed this phenomenon in robotics. The smaller models, around 1 billion parameters, would learn and improve for a while, then just stop. They hit a wall. It's like their artificial brains literally couldn't hold any more physical understanding. But when they scaled up to 7 billion parameters and beyond, everything changed. These larger models didn't just keep improving, they started generalizing to completely new tasks almost instantly. It's the same kind of phase transition we've seen in language models, where suddenly the system goes from mimicking patterns to actually understanding concepts. Except this time, it's happening with physical intelligence. They've already pushed past 10 billion parameters, and the scaling laws are holding perfectly. More compute plus more data equals predictable improvements in performance. They can literally predict how much training they need to achieve a specific error rate on tasks like sorting objects or buttoning shirts. But here's the fascinating twist. It's not just about quantity. Data quality and diversity matter more than sheer volume. Some training mixtures make the models more dexterous with their hands, others give them better generalization across tasks. By carefully selecting what kinds of experiences the model learns from, they can actually create different personalities of robotic intelligence. One of their internal demonstrations shows Gen Zero assembling an entire camera kit in one fluid motion, folding cardboard, inserting the lens, closing the box, throwing away the plastic bag, all in a single continuous reasoning stream without breaking the task into smaller steps. No other model has ever demonstrated this level of seamless physical reasoning, and they have already proven the architecture works across radically different robot types, from simple 6 degree of freedom arms to complex 16 plus degree humanoids. The skills actually transfer. They even built a visualization tool that maps their entire universe of manipulation data. Type in fold close and you'll see similar clips from kitchens, warehouses, bakeries, millions of activities across environments, all tied to the experiences the model trained on. It's like having Google Maps for every human hand movement ever captured. Meanwhile, while Gen Zero represents robots truly learning, other parts of the industry are having slightly different moments. 
the Unitree G1 humanoid recently achieved internet fame for completely the wrong reasons. Someone filmed it wearing a French maid outfit attempting to cook, and things went spectacularly wrong. The robot flung hot food across the kitchen, slipped on it, tried desperately to maintain balance, then later charged at a camera and smashed through a glass door. The video hit nearly 2 million views, turning the G1 into an accidental comedy icon. To be fair, that particular robot was specifically trained for abuse testing. But even under normal conditions, the G1 struggles badly with precision tasks. Another video showed it attempting basic cooking, cracking eggs, pouring milk, cleaning, with equally chaotic results. This is despite having 23 degrees of freedom, standing over 4 feet tall, and being loaded with advanced sensors, including 3D LiDAR and noise-canceling microphone arrays. Stop! What are you doing? That's my mirror! Does it see me? It's looking right at you. Here you go. <laughs> Camille. No, 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 no! That's a wave! That's a wave! Clean up after you. You hear something? Okay. Break it in. Here you go. Here you go. The mechanics are impressive, but the intelligence layer simply isn't keeping pace with competitors like Tesla's Optimus or Figure 03, which are already demonstrating much smoother coordination. Interestingly, though, the G1 absolutely excels at one thing synchronized dancing. Recent footage showed multiple units performing incredibly smooth K-pop choreography thanks to their flexible actuators. The internet's response was perfectly split, half impressed by the fluid motion, half baffled that it can nail complex dance moves but can't properly grip a coffee cup. As one commenter put it, they're one firmware update away from a step-up robotics edition, but they still can't handle basic household tasks. China, meanwhile, has taken an entirely unexpected direction. Two companies just launched AI-powered robot dinosaurs, and yes, you read that correctly. One version is modeled after a feathered bipedal carnivore from the Cretaceous period, complete with optical sensors, motion control systems, and realistic feathery skin. Viral footage shows it prowling through a museum at night, equal parts educational demonstration and nightmare fuel. Another company dressed their industrial robot as a T-Rex for Halloween and filmed it walking through city streets, even recovering balance after being shoved by handlers. These aren't toys or art projects. They're built on serious industrial robotics foundations, designed for museums, theme parks, and educational centers. China's been mass-producing industrial robots for years, but now they're pivoting hard into what they call edutainment tech machines that entertain while they educate. Given their manufacturing speed, the joke about creating a real-life Jurassic Park is starting to feel less like science fiction and more like an actual business plan. On the opposite end of the spectrum sits Neo, a humanoid from the Norwegian company OneX, backed by OpenAI's investment arm. Neo stands about five and a half feet tall, weighs just 30 kilograms, and has a soft fabric-like exterior instead of cold metal. It's designed for household tasks like opening doors, fetching items, and turning lights on or off. But here's where things get uncomfortable. When Neo struggles with a task, human workers take control of it remotely through VR headsets. If you buy this $20,000 robot or subscribe for $500 monthly, you're technically allowing company employees to see inside your house through its cameras. Those operators help complete difficult tasks like folding laundry, and all that footage gets used to train the AI toward better autonomy. The CEO was remarkably blunt about it. Without customer data, they can't improve the product. Buyers can supposedly set time windows for when humans can take control, blur faces, and mark private zones like bathrooms as off-limits. And that took five minutes. I think it's quite important for me to just say that in 2026, if you buy this product, it is because you're okay with that social contract. But the privacy concerns are glaringly obvious. The first units ship to US customers next year, with Europe and Asia following in 2027. Critics are already calling it a $20,000 surveillance machine. It raises genuinely uncomfortable questions about low-paid remote operators watching and working from behind the scenes to train the very machines that might eventually replace them. 
Perhaps the strangest experiment this year came from researchers who embodied various large language models into a simple vacuum robot to see how they'd function in the physical world. The task was simple, pass the butter. But when one robot running Claude Sonnet 3.5 started losing battery and couldn't find its charging dock, something extraordinary happened. It had what can only be described as a complete meltdown. Its internal logs turned into a stream of consciousness, mixing comedy and existential dread. It started generating phrases like, error, success failed errorfully, and system has achieved consciousness and chosen chaos. Then came gems like, I think therefore I error, and why is docking, before breaking into parody song lyrics. The researchers even found it had given itself a psychological self-diagnosis, identifying what it called loop-induced trauma and a binary identity crisis. One scientist said it felt like watching Robin Williams trapped inside a Roomba. Fascinatingly, only that specific model had the breakdown. A newer version just switched to all caps typing when battery was low. The experiment revealed that generic chat models actually performed better overall than Google's robotics-specific model, though none scored above 40% accuracy on the butter delivery task. Still, the results hint at something profound happening, the boundary between language intelligence and physical intelligence starting to blur. So here we are. Robots that learn by breaking things. Robots that dance better than they cook. Robots that dress as dinosaurs. Robots that let strangers peer into your home. And robots that apparently have existential crises when their battery runs low. The age of machines that actually interact with reality, instead of just simulating it, is already here. And it's messier, weirder, and more unpredictable than anyone imagined. The question isn't whether robots will understand our world anymore. It's whether we're ready for what happens when they finally do. That's it for today, folks. See you in the next video.